What's the weirdest thing a medical professional has casually said to you? When I was like 20, my endocrinologist took a good look at me and asked, are you okay with your face being so asymmetrical? I had never really noticed it before, but boy have I noticed it since. I live in Ireland, the surgeon who replaced my hip is also a farmer. The day before I was due to be discharged, he came in on his rounds, he said I may or may not see you tomorrow, it depends on the dog, so I said okay what's up with the dog? He told me the dog broke his leg and was having it set tomorrow, but he wasn't sure what time, so I said sure bring in the owl dog and I'll mind him, this is rural Ireland bear in mind and I was in the convalescent area of the hospital by then and shortly after breakfast he arrived in, with the dog, lovely border collie, with his leg in plaster. He stayed with me watching TV till the doc was finished replacing another hip and was ready to discharge me, and we could all go home. It could only happen in Ireland. When I was 12 I had a dentist say hold on I think I might be counting wrong, you shouldn't have those yet, okay never mind those are definitely your wisdom teeth. Your mouth is just huge I guess. They said it was the youngest they've ever seen anyone get their wisdom teeth. They called in every dentist in the building to come look at my mouth. This is no joke. I had a medical professional say, I used to be a heroin addict, so I'm pretty good at this. As she was putting in my 4 LMFAO, I laughed so hard. Following a checkup, we're going to have to remove your testicles. Just kidding, you should have seen your face. I had a really weird throat issue. It didn't hurt it, just felt like something was stuck in there. I had been a vegetarian for years at this point and the doctor said I likely had a chicken bone stuck in there. Wouldn't take no for an answer. Back pain, I'm not young. Doctor just said basically well, that's just life for you. You're tall. So I'm just going to end up being a hunched over 90 year old? LOL, you're not going to see 90. Um, pardon? How many tall old people have you ever seen? Oh, yeah, okay. If you don't mind, I'd like to show everyone pictures of your tonsils. According to her, I had the most disgusting tonsils she had ever seen in her years in the business, and gosh darn she wanted to show them off was living in a foreign country and had a cold slash flu type illness. Went to the dock and he comes in eating a bowl of cereal. Already weird. Checks some things and says, do you know what AIDS is? I'm in complete shock and say yes, I do. He follows up with it's a virus and there is no cure. Goes on to explain why there is no cure, all while I'm seeing my life over as I know it. Finally ends with, but you don't have that virus, you have a different one, much more common and treatable, but I wanted you to understand why an antibiotic wouldn't work. Still in shock, I'm like, so I don't have AIDS, then right? He goes, no, and walks out. What a roller coaster. Edit, this was in Switzerland about 15 years ago, and I'm American. Yes, he was slurping his cereal, the whole time. Edit 2, he did explain the difference between HIV and AMP, AIDS. Guess he just wanted to come in hot and get my attention. Thanks all. My son is about your age and single, do you want his number? Gynecologist. DR, you look great. How did you lose weight? Son, eating disorder, anorexia, doctor, well keep doing whatever you are doing, it's working great. I had a doctor tell me that my metabolism is so slow that I would do very well in an apocalypse. Not me, but mom. She's in remission for a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that invaded her brain. She was getting a scan to confirm the cancer had left her brain pan and the doctor came in and said good news. We've scanned your brain and confirmed that there's nothing in there. When my girlfriend was in the ICU one of the nurses sort of shrugged and said dismissively she's gonna die anyhow. She should have. Her kidneys had shut completely down and she was so swollen that her tongue wouldn't fit in her mouth. We were making the decision whether to continue life support or not. 
she didn't die. A month and a half later, she walked out of the hospital and into my car for the ride home. I asked my cardiologist I had growing up what the goop was they put on before echoes, he said, yak snot. I believed him for way too long. Wow. You have the flattest feet I've ever seen. If you ever tried to have a baby, the kid would snap your pelvis in two and rip you in half. Said by my gynecological surgeon. He said it in the most casual manner. I was mortified. ETA, thank goodness I was there to get a hysterectomy, haha. <laughs> you have pretty blood. Followed by, I bet you have heavy periods. Was a teen and seeing my pediatrician. There was a baby or infant in another room wailing its head off. After a few minutes, my doc said, don't mind him, we just lopped his leg off. OMG, it looks like ground beef. A doctor looking into my extremely painful strep-ridden throat. He gave me a Z-pack from his stash there and then and told me to take the first one now. It was bad. Do you swallow? He meant to ask if I have a hard time swallowing pills or not. I snapped both of my Achilles while finishing off a set of heavy leg presses with calf extensions. I didn't close it all of the way and the sled crashed down on me, pinning my legs next to my head. Yes, I was dumb not to use the safety pins. They weren't there, they constantly disappeared to other machines, so I was lazy for not using them and paid the price. The doctor looked at my scans and said these are mirror images of each other. You must have good form. Went in for my checkup six weeks after my second kid and the intern who was shadowing my OBGYN made the comment oh, hey, you're looking great. Not to my face, but to the bottom half of me. I am constantly anemic and when my doc was putting my IUD in I bled a little and he said, no. Not your precious iron. Were you a teacher? Your bladder is huge. OBGYN during a pelvic ultrasound. I was indeed a teacher. If you don't need these pain meds now, you can save them for another time ER doc giving me a bottle full of dilated for a broken thumb. The early 2000s were a wild time for prescription drugs. I live in an area where many people collect and search hard for specific bourbons and whiskeys. My psychiatrist found out that I work at a liquor store and asks me about the whiskeys my store has in stock for a solid 10 minutes, my apps are scheduled to be 15 to 20 minutes long. Every single appointment. I'm just trying to get my mood stabilizer refilled loudly crying face loudly crying face. Nurse during a gyno exam looking at my large owl tattoo on my calf is your tattoo a fish? Me no, it's an owl? Her annoyed well it needs to be touched up then. The tattoo was less than a year old and very obviously an owl. I was 18 at the time and went to the family doctor that brought me into the world. The reason was I was having great pain urinating and was leaking a pus-like substance. After getting a shot I went to his office, I sat down and he lit a Winston, rocked back in his chair whilst taking a big drag and said, I am going to talk to you like a Dutch uncle, if you do not know if it is clean, keep your goddamn zipper zipped up.